Bible says the most high is sovereign over the kingdom of men. I chose you out of the world, therefore the world will hate you. Sanctification is the gradual process by which a believing Christian is made holy through the Holy Spirit. The supernatural is what makes Christianity much more than a mere religion. For a sanctified life is indispensable for a Christian if he or she wants to be in good relationship with God and grow in grace. Religious plus education. Yes, that is education in totality. For a child to have a taste of modern world, he or she must grab knowledge from a great citadel of learning. Oshitelu Memorial Nursery and Primary School, Ogirere Morgan State. The Church of the Lord College, Ogirere Morgan State. Aladura Comprehensive High School, Antony Village, Lagos. Reverend Emmanuel Oyedele Ashamu, Nursery and Primary School, Antony Village, Lagos. Oshitelu Memorial Nursery and Primary School, Ayede Ekiti, and Aladura Theological Institute, Ogerere Morgan State, and Antony Village, Lagos, Nigeria. We have a conducive learning environment, qualified and experienced teachers, basic computer education, career counseling, science and introductory technology laboratory, and lots more. Admission is in process at Oshitelu Memorial Nursery and Primary School, Ogerere Mo. The Church of the Lord College, Ogereremo, Aladura Comprehensive High School, Antony Village, Reverend Emmanuel Ashamu, Nosrian Primary School, Antony Village, Aladura Theological Institute, Ogereremo, Ogun State, and Antony Village, Lagos, Nigeria. For details, contact the Church of the Lord Worldwide, Ogereremo Spiritual and International Headquarters, P.O. Box 71, Shagamu, Ogun State, Nigeria. You can also call these lines. Aladra groups of schools cater for the yearnings of modern education. Viewers from, from every part of the world, by whatever means, we welcome you again to the voice of victory, the media outreach of the Church of the Lord worldwide, coming unto you from the international headquarters, Ogeremo Ogun State, in Nigeria. The theme of this message Overflowing Blessings. Let us pray. Merciful and gracious God, Thou who art miraculously done everything for us. You are the covenant God of Holy Man Tabora. Same thou as the God of Saint Josiah Olunowo Shitelu, the God of the Church of the Lord worldwide, the creator of the whole universe. In your light, we see light. Heavenly Father, do thou make your light to shine in our lives. Let your light shine in our hearts. Lord God, feed us with your word of reformation. Feed us with your word of salvation. Let your word germinate in our hearts to bring forth good fruits in us so that we may live a humble life that is pleasing unto you. Let your word grant us mercy, favor, 
Ojurere, victory, Ishegun, breakthrough, Anuyo, joy, Ayo, progress, Itesiwaju, success, Ishere, and glorious manifestation of your overflowing blessings. Unto greater testimonies. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in their sight. My Lord and my Redeemer, now and forevermore. Amen. 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 People of God, for where your treasure is, there your art will also be. People of God, let us be careful. Because blessings can cause indifference to your face. Let us listen to the message to the church in Laodicea. As found in the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 17. This church in Laodicea, we have about seven churches. In the Revelation, God gave to Apostle John. These churches are symbolic of the churches we have in the world today. You can read through Revelation chapter 2 to chapter 3. But for our purpose right now, we want to read the message to the church in Laodicea as found in Revelation chapter 3, verse 17. And it reads us You say, I am rich. I, I have acquired wealth and do not need anything but you do not realize that you are wretched you are pitiful you are poor you are blind you are naked imagine that message to a wealthy man that thinks this wealthy man is symbolic of a church. And in that church is so rich. They have material things. And says, oh, we are rich. We are rich. We have acquired words. Many widows, by the time they were dying, they were writing their will for the church. So the church has, has you know, gotten a lot of wills, houses, land, Many other things, material things. And they now said to themselves, We do not need anything. We have all that we need. And God told them, But you do not realize that you are wretched. You are pitiful. You are very poor. You are very blind. And you are naked. Because 
they do not have the most important thing. What is that thing that is most important? Eternal life. They have all the things of this world, but they do not have eternal life. And, and they were condemned by God. Some believers falsely assume that numerous material possessions and large congregations are a sign of God's spiritual blessing. We have it already documented in the scriptures. Among the seven churches that God gave revelation to Apostle John to send unto them, he wrote them down and he sent it to the churches. The, the only church that God was pleased with is a church that is so small with very little congregation. Not with one with millions. The church in Philadelphia. And God was so pleased with that church. All other churches. God condemned them all. But he gave them a chance to repent and turn back to him because they have gone astray. People of God, wealth, luxury, and easy life is not what is needed. It's only for self-satisfaction. It cannot take you to eternal life. No matter how much you possess, you have nothing if you don't have that eternal life. If you don't have that close relationship with Jesus Christ, everything amounts to nothing. You love it in Christ? Instead of centering your life upon possessions, upon material things upon luxury of life you should look for your true riches in Christ Jesus who is able to meet your needs in this world and the world to come according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. May that be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Religious plus education. Yes. That is education in totality. For a child to have a taste of modern world, he or she must grab knowledge from a great citadel of learning, Oshitelu Memorial Nursery Primary School, Ogirere Morgan State, the Church of the Lord College, Ogirere Morgan State, Aladura Comprehensive High School, and Tony Village, Lagos, Reverend Emmanuel Oyedele Ashamu, Nursery Primary School, and Tony Village, Lagos, Oshitelu Memorial Nursery Primary School, Ayede Ekiti and Aladura Theological Institute, Ogerere Morgan State, and Antony Village, Lagos, Nigeria. We have a conducive learning environment, qualified and experienced teachers, basic computer education, career counseling, science and introductory technology laboratory, and lots more. Admission is in process at Oshitelu Memorial Nozion Primary School, Ogerere Mo. The Church of the Lord College, Ogerere Mo. Aladura Comprehensive High School, Antony Village, Reverend Emmanuel Ashamu, Nozion Primary School, Antony Village, Aladura Theological Institute, Ogereremo, Ogun State, and Antony Village, Lagos, Nigeria. For details, contact the Church of the Lord Worldwide, Ogereremo Spiritual and International Headquarters, PO Box 71, Shagamu, Ogun State, Nigeria. You can also call these lines.
Aladra groups of schools cater for the yearnings of modern education. People of God, blessings can sometimes cause greediness. Christ Jesus said to the crowd in Luke chapter 12 verse 15 Watch out Be on your guard Against all kinds of greed because a man's life does not consist in the abundance of his possession. According to our Lord Jesus Christ, life is more than material goods. More importantly, is our relationship with God. So, therefore, our Lord Jesus admonishes us to be on guard against greed. Greed will not be your portion in Jesus' name. The love of God will be your portion. The will of God will be your portion. And the close relationship with Jesus Christ will be your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. People of God, there are different perspectives. We have good perspectives and wrong perspectives. For example, riches are a sign of God's blessings. That's what some of us believe. Some of us believe that riches are a sign of God's blessings and even approval. But Apostle James makes us to understand that this is a wrong assumption. You can read it at your quiet time. James chapter 2, verses 2 to 4. Beloved in Christ, words may indicate intelligence. Words may indicate wise decisions. Words may indicate hard work. On the other hand, it may mean that a person had the good fortune of being born into a wealthy family without his own contribution. Even sometimes, words can even be a sign of greed. It can be a sign of dishonesty. Sign of 419. Sign of selfishness. Sign of wickedness. We have many people who are wealthy today. But the source of their wealth is questionable. Imagine a kidnapper that has been kidnapping people and collecting millions and settles in another community where they don't even know him. And people People see him as a wealthy person and even started doing good to the community but nobody knows the source of his words so the fact that somebody is wealthy does not mean that it's God's blessing 
Because God has nothing to do with wickedness. God has nothing to do with 419. God has nothing to do with kidnapping. And so on and so forth. So, let us have a rethink. By honoring someone just because he or she is worthy, we will be making appearance more important than character. Your character is more important to God. And that's why God says, remember, remember your reputation. Even if you are deceiving the people, you cannot deceive God. You can run, but you cannot hide from God. People of God, let us have the right perspective. Let us be blessed through God. Not through greediness. Not through wickedness. Not through 419. Not through kidnapping. Not through killing. Some people are their business is hired killers. They don't, you don't even need to offend them. All they need is give me his name, give me his picture, give me his address, and I will kill him or her for money. So, they are only after money. And they have gotten so much money. And many neighbors are thinking, oh, God has blessed them. It's not everybody that is worthy is blessed by God. Let us be contented with what God has given out to us and remain focused on Christ Jesus. The source, the source of all good things in life. It will not abandon you. It will supply you all your needs and it will continue to bless you to the glory of his name. May that be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I decree and I command in your name turn around all their wants into plenty in the mighty name of Jesus. Turn around all their agony into Joy in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I decree and I command in your name alone. Turn around all their impediments into comfort in the mighty name of Jesus. Turn around all their failures into successes in the name of Jesus. Turn all their wilderness into fatal land in Jesus name I decree and I command in your name alone turn all the problems and challenges into great testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus fight their battles for them and turn all their battles into victory we know our wants but you alone know our needs Father satisfy the needs of your people to the glory of your name in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name we have prayed Amen Amen Amen, Amen. Amen. in Jesus name praise the Lord Hallelujah. praise the Lord Hallelujah. praise the living Jesus Hallelujah. 
viewers, you can continue to call the numbers you are seeing on your screen. You can call them for intercessory prayers. You can call them for counseling. And you can share your testimonies with us. The more you share your testimony, the goodness of the Lord in your life, the more the Lord will continue to bless you. So we we'll see you again next week. Same station. Same day. Same time. Until then, remain blessed in Jesus' name. God bless you. Bye bye. It is work. It is Religious plus education. Yes, that is education in totality. For a child to have a taste of modern world, he or she must grab knowledge from a great citadel of learning. Oshitelu Memorial Nursery Primary School, Ogirere Morgan State. The Church of the Lord College, Ogirere Morgan State. Aladura Comprehensive High School, Antony Village, Lagos. Reverend Emmanuel Oyedele Ashamu, Nursery Primary School, Antony Village, Lagos. Oshitelu Memorial Nursery Primary School, Ayede Ekiti, and Aladura Theological Institute, Ogerere Morgun State, and Antony Village, Lagos, Nigeria. We have a conducive learning environment, qualified and experienced teachers, basic computer education, career counseling, science and introductory technology laboratory, and lots more. Admission is in process at Oshitelu Memorial Nursery Primary School, Ogerere Mo. The Church of the Lord College, Ogereremo, Aladura Comprehensive High School, Antony Village, Reverend Emmanuel Ashamu, Nosrian Primary School, Antony Village, Aladura Theological Institute, Ogereremo, Ogun State, and Antony Village, Lagos, Nigeria. For details, contact the Church of the Lord Worldwide, Ogereremo Spiritual and International Headquarters, P.O. Box 71, Shagamu, Ogun State, Nigeria. You can also call these lines. Aladra groups of schools cater for the yearnings of modern education. We are serving the Lord of Miracle. We know, yes, we know. Hallelujah. We are serving the Lord.